Have you ever wondered where these airplanes and movies, TV shows, and commercials are filmed? Like Kristen Wiig stumbling through the aisles, drunkenly headed for first class in The Bridesmaids? Or Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill misbehaving in The Wolf of Wall Street? These and many other movie scenes, sets for TV shows, and commercials are filmed in Hollywood, Burbank to be exact, at a studio set up just for airplane scenes called Air Hollywood. Why don't we take a quick tour of Air Hollywood, its studios, and let you know a little bit more about what we do. So we're at the Pan Am Experience. We run this here at Air Hollywood twice a month, um, every other Saturday. Uh, people come in and they basically relive a Pan Am Experience, uh, which is a flight from the 1970s. We don't get too specific about the year. But people come dressed in vintage outfits and drink Harvey Wallbangers and Rob Roy's. Um, basically, people want to relive what it was like to fly in the 1970s. Uh, you get onto the plane. And it's been recreated perfectly by the person that started this actually in his garage. His name is Anthony Toth. He's an aviation, uh, really an airlines geek. And uh, make sure that all the colors, um, all the seats um, are exact, uh, including the wallpapers that are used. Um, one of the things that we've had uh, recently was Quentin Tarantino was here and he shot for his new film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, this section that we're in right now is where Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio sat for the sequence of the film that's towards the end where they're flying back from Rome. Uh, Tarantino was so impressed with the, f uh, with the plane itself and enjoyed it so much that he actually came back and joined us for an evening, he and his wife. Uh, this is actually the opening shot of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Kind of a piano bar in an original Pan Am flight. A lot of people that come and shoot things here, uh, we do a lot of photo shoots too. We do a lot of music videos here. And a lot of times they're looking for vintage wear to wear on this plane in particular. Some of this is vintage airline flight attendant uniforms. Other things are just vintage wear from seersucker jackets to pork pie hats that people want to wear. This is the place that probably most people will know uh, from uh, Wolf of Wall Street, from Bridesmaids. Um, from TV shows like uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and obviously, probably the first big, big thing that we did, which was the TV series Lost, where obviously a plane and aviation had a lot to do with it. One of the things that we, we get a lot of requests for people that want to have um, specific designs on the seats so we can switch out all mm -hmm. the seats and make them look any way that they want. This can be retro or it can be brand new looking. It can be a specific airline or it can be something very generic. We can also manipulate things in terms of uh, creating turbulence and that can all be done on this plane. People may think that uh, we just do the inside of aircrafts here at uh, Air Hollywood, but actually, we recreate a full airport terminal for you. Well, you have to see this, let's take a look. So yes, even from the luggage carts, we have them here ready for any production. And as you can see, this feels like we're in an airport terminal. And not only does it feel like we're in an airport terminal, when you get to this part, we are in an airport terminal. And what we'll do here at Air Hollywood is we have everything available to us in terms of recreating exactly what it would look like and feel like in here. So if a production was going on, they would be using all of the materials that are provided by us. Even the generic art that's up here for restaurants that don't actually exist. And then isn't it nice to walk through like that? <laughs> this is the world's most famous cockpit. It is from the movie Airplane. Um, everybody that comes here likes to have their photo taken inside of it. Um, as you can see, if you move around this way, this is where Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Robert Hayes sat. And also, we shouldn't forget Otto, the pilot. Um, it's exactly the way it was in 1980 when the film came out. We have kept it basically as is. We haven't refurbished it or done anything else with it. But as I said before, everybody likes to look at it and everybody likes to have their photo taken in it. It's certainly one of the most iconic um, airplane movies and airplane sequences ever done. Air Hollywood is open for tours. If you'd like to take a peek, Julie Walker, AOPA Live.